Hello fellow knights, Finn here and welcome to I Gently Open the Door 2. And yes, the same mod brought to you by the one and only various artists. Now I'm not gonna dwell too much on who they are, I'm just gonna leave some uh, some videos right here of who they are, so we're just gonna jump straight into it. And uh, another thing before I begin, I did not expect that this mod would have a sequel, but there's a reason for it. This is apparently part of their 12 days of... I can't say it. I can't say it. I you you guys know me. I don't swear. If I'm going to swear, I definitely need to vouch someone for a swear card. So uh yeah, um any any vouchers out there uh or any takers, please. So yeah, but still you get the point that I really do not swear because I do not want to get in trouble. So anywho, as part of this uh this Christmas series, we'll be doing this on day one. So Anywho, I'm going to say this once for this video only. You guys know the drill. And what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. And let's get started. And <laughs> Sayori doing some kind of a meat, meat spin right there. And I didn't know that the uh, the menu kind of looks like Minecraft for some reason. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's, let's get started. I don't want to show that one. You guys know what that sprite is. Okay, um, birds chirping. Oh, I, I'm apparently making breakfast while singing. Okay, I'm making breakfast and really smells good. I hope that it tastes like, uh, just as good. Or is it at least edible? Yeah! Do 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 do, I'm humming a song. I lay my tired eyes on the sizzling bacon, it's coming to life. Even though the pig is very, very much dead. Aww. Well, according to Minecraft standards for where I'm from, well, it, there's no shame in getting, well, food from, from animals there. So it's, it's, um, well, you know. Law bless those creatures made out of ham. <laughs> but not the Islamic glob, the other one. Oh. But are they the same one? Back on track. Seems like everything's really going right in the world. I'm making good. I'm making a good breakfast. Monica texted me that it'll be fine if Sayori and I didn't show up at the festival. All is well. I feel a shiver crawling down my spine. Not everything is well. Sayori's alive, but I'm not going to ignore the fact that she's still struggling. I should be thankful that when I opened the door, she was still, still. Uh, I swallow. I crank down the heat on the bacon and the sizzle dies down. Closing my eyes, I focus on the sounds emitted by the surroundings. <clears throat> Nothing. Not e not a single prittle or prattle. I can't even hear a breath. She couldn't have? No, no, there's no way. I shake my head and chuckle to myself. Don't be paranoid, Finn. Don't baby here. Don't baby her. Be there for her. That's all that matters. Oh my! What? No! Not again! I fall down. My, uh, my breath erratic. I... I have to check. I run up the stairs, my mind rushing with every possibility. Please, Glob, don't let this happen again. Yeah, after what I've been... What? After what? How far or... Well... How do I say this? After all what I've been through from the previous one. Okay. Well, I guess uh before we continue, um get um get your butt cheeks clenched, please. I reach the door and lean in, my ear flat against the wooden surface. I can hear a thing. Uh one more time. I gently open the door. Oh, the classic five line that gave us PTSD or trauma. Oh, oh, Sayori, you're all fine and fine and well. Oh, thing glob, but nope. Do not, do not let your shields down, guys. She's still here. Hey, Finn. Yeah, Sayori. Where's my breakfast? Huh? My breakfast, Finn. Where is it? Oh. 
Okay, now I understand why, because you're hungry. I'm working at- Where is it? I want my breakfast. You promised me breakfast. Don't worry, Sayori. I'll get on it. Just one. I trusted you, Finn. I trusted you. I trusted breakfast. What the heck is going on? I'm so confused. She was okay just a second ago. Why is she crying about breakfast? Well, if she likes food so much, I guess that's the reason why, because food is good. Unless... Sayori stands up, her tears dried up, and looks, uh, looks me dead in the eye. Sayori, I know the voices are telling you to do it, but don't. You're not just a puppet dancing to their whims. But Finn, you didn't get me breakfast. I wanted my breakfast, and you didn't get me it. No, don't do it. No, no, no. No, no, no. If you do that, I'm going to cut that rope out of your, um, well, cut the rope, not not your hand. Still, that's, that's, uh, that's so bad. Don't do that again. Stay down. What did I say? Sayori, I swear to flip in glove. If you do this, I will. Oh, crap. Oh, now with even more door. <laughs> okay. Step, step right up, step right up, and take a hit at our newest, most popular attraction. <laughs> what? No! What? Come here and take a free shot at the candy dispensing and I'll be so disappointed. No! Why? She's not a pinata or something. I step up to the piñata, and Anatsuki hands me a bat that's covered in barbed wire. What? All right, time to put the blindfold on you. She wraps a blindfold on top of my eyes. I start swinging my bat mindlessly, trying to get a hit on the piñata. Hey, I got it. Keep going, sir. I keep on beating the on the piñata, trying to dispense it to get, trying to get it to dispense as much candy as possible. Ooh, that's <laughs> what is this? Oh, glob! What? Oh no! What? Oh no! 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 <laughs> No, 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 I can't, okay, I can't show that, but still, that is so freaked up, why did I do that to Sayori, that is, Natsuki, why, I, I swear to Glob, if I'm, if I'm done with this, I'm gonna come over to your house and, uh, have a conversation with you, what, do you expect me to beat her up, no, I, 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 I was gonna say gender equality, but not at this kind of, uh, kind of context. Wait a minute, that doesn't look like candy at all. Natsuki, I finished preparing the pi- What? Natsuki, I just finished prepar preparing the piñata for the- Okay, um... Well then, uh, we're off to a good start, fellow knights. What's up? Can a look come up in your crib? Oh, I know where this. I know where this is from. Man, frick you! I'll see you at school. Hey, news, uh, female dog. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful, news, female dog. Maybe if you get rid of that old yee ass haircut you got, you get some D's in your snatch. Or better yet, maybe I'll actually love your dog ass if I <laughs> ever stopped freaking with that sundere or yandere I'm freaking with. I lean in and go for the knockout punch. Uh, news, uh... <laughs> <laughs> News female dog. <laughs> I flip her the bird. What? Barber shops are now available. This is <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I did not expect that reference to be in there. Um, if you guys know that reference, you're a real you're a real OG. <laughs> uh Hey sir. 
why? Why again with the naked Sayori as if the previous video that I just did wasn't... Oh my glob. Here we go again, guys. Hey, Sayori. Hey. I think I left my pen in here. Ah, uh, okay. I think it's by my desk. Let me get it. Sayori bends down to get the pen and hands it to me. Thanks. Anytime. Okay. <laughs> Sayori, why'd you call me here? Finn, we need to talk. What is it? Oh, getting closer. I'm pregnant. But, but how? Remember we went out to a park a couple days ago? Um... Uh... Yeah? And we were getting farm and warm and fuzzy? Yeah? And we hid in the bushes and you, uh... Sayori swallows nervously. And you held my hand? Oh no. I guess we held hands a bit too hard. Dang it! My mom always said I could use protection. Aw oh, man, I forgot my gloves! I should have worn my gloves! <laughs> well... It's not your fault. I wanted to feel your hands too, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, a what? Abortion? Or... Nah, I got it covered. Two for one. Oh my glob, why? Phew, that was close. Why? Why? Just... Why? Finn, you're finally here! Oh! Hello, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, the one and only Sayori. Um, we're gonna play some truth or dare. Sayori, we talked about this. You have to take your meds. But, but, I don't wanna. It always makes me feel so funky. It's for your own good. I go over to her dresser and grab her the pill bottle, unscrewing it and handing her two pills. Do I have to? Yes, Sayori, you have to. Okay, I have no idea what's going on, but uh, don't know what they are talking about, but okay, I guess you have to, Sayori. She takes the pills and with one gulp swallows them both down. What? No, not you too. What? Hey, S hey, Sayori, do you want to play some truth or? Of course, you're the only one who's real. Just my luck. Uh, I'll go. Please. Okay, then. I didn't know how long I spent in her room. I felt numb for what seemed to be eternity. I just saw Sayori hang there for... Glob, I don't know how long. Eventually, I began to feel something. I look at Sayori's pajamas. Her shirt is was slightly unbuttoned at the top. I remembered how I had to button her top. Her cute little giggles as I struggled with her top. My fingers pretty much tickling her shirt. Okay, oh the oh the, yeah, this one scene from the from the base game. Then there was her smile as I adjusted her buttons. I felt slight throb in my groin. Was I was I getting hard? I looked down and I noticed my what? Your pee pee, your, your wiener, beginning to rise. What? I look back to Sayori and she's looking at me. What? Wh Wait, what? Sayori, you're alive? You sound disappointed. I know. Finn, are you going to. Wh what? Why? Why would you say that, Sayori? No? Why did you have a... <laughs> the wind? Honesty is the key to a healthy relationship, Finn. I sigh. I may have tried to are your corpse. It's okay, Finn. Just next time. I want to be alive when we have tier 15, okay? What? 
Wanna be alive when we have tier 15? Owner gone. That is fricked up. That is, that is fricked up. Why? Why would you do that to a corpse? That is, no. No, no, don't do that. I gently open the door as I feel my sins crawl in my back. What the? Sans Yori! Okay? Hey kids! Oh! Hello Sayori and wait, is this some sort of a 1980s or 1990s kind of vibe? I think it is like 1990s. Well, I'm a sucker for anything retro whether it be like 1980s, 90s, 70s, whatever. I just like old stuff or, well, classic stuff sometimes. Or, well, like I said, I'm just a sucker for those, uh, for something retro. Hi, Sayori. Look, there's nothing cooler than be than talking and being with someone you like. But when someone older than you tries to talk to you or touch you in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. What? Is this the Sonic, um, the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog reference? If you're ever in that situation, first, you gotta say no. Then, you get out of there and stop talking to that person. But most importantly, you have to tell a person you trust, like your parents and a trusted adult. Thanks, Sayori. And remember, adults, if you ever think about a child in a some um sexual content don't yep psa from sayori do not touch anyone in a uncomfortable um in a place where it makes you feel uncomfortable that's no good it's a uh, baguette oh mm -hmm. oh it's a, it's a good looking baguette 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 Oh, hey, a baguette. Baguette. Ba <laughs> baguette. 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 Oh, glob, frick off, Monica. No one asked. Jeez. Uh, okay, you don't have to be so mean to her. Baguette. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Okay. Finn, I'm dying. Okay. Um, I think so far, aside from the, you know, the infamous hanging uh, Sayori sprite, this has to be the cursed thing I've seen. Hi, dying. I'm Finn. Please help me. I would, but I don't see me anywhere around here. I hate you. I'll pass the message on to you when I see him. Ha, uh, dad jokes. It's dark and cold. I can't make out a single shape or figure. I'm lost in a silent, empty, yet vast void. Where am I? Wait, did I forget to turn the lights on? Phew, that's much better. And again. Bruh. Gently open the door. Why do you have a gun in your hand? Yeah, why does she have a gun in her hand? Did you buy that from ammunition? Oh, it's a, a Chenkov's gun. I feel like someone else would appreciate that more than I would. Okay. Hey, Finn, mind me getting the- Oh, why? <laughs> so, uh, how are you alive? Well, I tried to kill myself, but I guess I'm immortal? Huh. Neat. Well, wait. Immortal? Don't tell me you got your, uh, your immor immortality from Marceline. Well, you know, bite in the neck and all since she's a vampire. So, will you get me down? Wait a minute. If she's like a vampire, doesn't mean that she's supposed to be burnt under the sunlight. Well, I mean, sure, the windows are shining and all, but, well, we're under a roof, but, eh, I guess she'll be alright as long as I have an umbrella with her. I don't know. I kind of have some eggs to attend to. I'll go check up on that and I'll come back. I'm literally suffocating. You'll live. I... Can't you just get her down first? Because I really do not want to see that cursed, uh, cursed 
thing again. <laughs> or not thing, I mean her. Y you know what I mean. Hey, Sayori. M Natsuki made cupcakes. Do you want some? Finn, I have diabetes. <laughs> I guess you could say that she has diabetes. I'll take that as a yes. I leave the three trays of cupcakes and leave. Wow, okay. Hello, and welcome to the first meeting of the Dead Girl Society. But what? Everyone, introduce yourself. Uh, what's going on? Oh, hey Finn. This is just the first meeting of the DGS. You're welcome to watch. Um, actually, I have a question. What do you guys actually do here? We talk about the trauma of dying. But mostly, we just chill out and hang. Oh, chill. Yeah, you guys know what I'm, uh, you guys know what she's talking about. Uh, pun entirely intended. Thanks, not. I shake my head at the shenanigans. Ah, girls never chip. Wait, is that? What? Ropokun! Ropokun! You're alive! Oh, I missed you so much! I thought I lost you! I grab Ropokun and hug him tight. I won't let go of you this time, I swear! Sayori, what's going on? If I knew, I'd tell you. Oh my glove, we have to make up so much for lost time. Let me take you out to dinner. How's that sound? Okay. Going in closer and closer. What's going to happen? Oh, hello Natsuki. I'm beyond confused. Isn't that the rope we glued a set of comedic eyes to so that you could cope with your trauma better? I think? Girls, I can tell you how grateful I am for you bringing it back to me. I hug Sayori to show my appreciation. Oh my aww. Look at that face of disappointment. Ah, uh, Sayori, you know that I love you and not Ropokun, but oh well, I'll just get on with the program. Thank you so- thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, Ropakoon, there's a stick with your name on it. Let's go. <laughs> well, um, if any of you guys ship MCX Ropakoon, then... I don't know what to say about that, really. Just- just- just don't ship that. What? Did Sayori got tripped there? Okay, let's go drip. So you, hey Sayori, did you eat the cupcakes? Oh, are you okay there Sayori? Your eyes look lifeless. I look to the ground and see the three empty trays of and crumbs all over the place. <laughs> Sayori seems so sluggish. Are you okay Sayori? Fin, the ins, uh... Do you need more cupcakes? Sayori's on the ground, spazzing out. Oh no, her diabetes! White foam is being produced from her mouth. <laughs> she even has her head shaking! <laughs> oh, this mod! Um, oh, okay, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna lie, I think this one is better than the first one, but even more messed up. <laughs> She must be really excited for more cupcakes! <laughs> I found her in the end as the foam starts making out of her mouth! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no! <laughs> Sayori, that would be so dramatic! I'll go show you more cupcakes! <laughs> that is so freaked up! Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> No, Sayori and her diabetes. <laughs> oh, I am so messed up. I am, I am so sorry. Uh, huh? Who's this? And uh, some uh, some good art. That's a good looking uh sprite there. Oh my my tears. Um, let me just wipe my tears real quick. Woo! 
<laughs> okay, we're back. Um, wow, Siori, you look different. Did you get a haircut? <laughs> no! What the? What the frick was that? <laughs> Relatable. Wow, that uh, that got me. On second thought, I'd rather not. I gently close the door. Okay. Gently open the door. Look, Finn, I'm flying. Not again. You're hanging. I'm flying. You're going to die. We all die eventually. You're just jealous I'm going to die flying. Wow. Wow. I gently opened the... Shelly opened the, the, uh, what was I doing? Huh. Hey, wow. This wall is really bumpy. Hmm. It's a, it's a nice looking wall. Sayori has a really bumpy wall outside her room. How funky. There's like one bump, two bumps, three bumps, four bumps, five bumps, six bumps. What, is there a seventh one? 64,365 bumps. 64,366 bumps. Oh, now I remember what I was supposed to do a month ago. I need to go and check up on Sayori. Silly Finn, always so forgetful. Ah, oh, me, you're, you're an idiot. I gently open the door. What the? What? I gently close the door. Okay, um... If you guys, uh, okay, I, uh... Okay, that's messed up. Sayori just committed, um... Cannibalism. And she ate Monica. For some reason. I'm depressed. I don't know how to feel. The burden of someone's feeling is so great. <laughs> okay. You're mean. Why do I have to be a meanie or a lumpus? Okay, Lamau. Oh my glob, what's happening? What's happening? Did I forget? Stop saying Lamau out loud. It's really weird and stupid. Lamau, it's a condition. Why are you crying? My feet become weak and I fall to my knees. My medicine. Lamau, I lost my medicine. It's invading my thoughts. I can't stop why you can't stop in your lives you can't stop laughing your butt off help oh well oh well oh Finn oh well <laughs> oh. oh and she shot me to death okay I think I kind of deserve that Siori no I approached the hanging body I should have seen this coming. I look up to see Sayori's lifeless face. She better not be alive on this one, but still, saying that one would have been really, really worse, but you get the point. Sayori, what did you do? Wait a minute. What? I look further up, only to be met with an endless void. Where the heck is the rope attached to? I move up the chair that has been thrown carelessly on the ground and jump on. Okay, so I need to climb that rope. What? I jump from the chair and use Salor Sayori's limp head for another bruise. That jump should do it. And catch! I'm gripping the rope. Now it's time to climb. What the? Let's see where this boy takes us. Sorry, I just burped there. Using all of my upper body strength, I begin to climb the endless rope. At first, the void is a simple blackness, while terrifying is at the very least comprehensible. So, I climb. I climb, I climb, and I climb. My arms shake. My, mace, my face melts. I feel like I'm losing myself. The void gets ever darker. Even deeper. All the light touches is a rope. A singular rope. And so I climb. Every ounce of my strength is attributed to pulling myself up. 
At first, I am going at a decent pace, but eventually I slow to a crawl. My body can take it, but I must. I must push on. I climb and I climb, the never-ending struggle. The entire body is just a puddle of implications and suggestions. Am I here? Is here even real? Am I real? My surroundings warp around, the shades of color so extravagant that I have no words for it. Okay, changing colors, um, epilepsy warning. It's like I can see a whole new spe spectrum of light. The colors. My retinas bleed in and my eye sockets bulge out. I can't feel my body. Oh no, looks like I'm getting epilepsy. This is not good, guys. Especially to you viewers, uh, if you have epilepsy, uh, please click off this video right now for your own safety. You can see the rope. The weight on the entire world is on me. Pain. Suffering. Ah. What the? What? Where am I? Hello, child. Oh, okay. Um... I forgot who this name is, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely not Donald Trump. Uh, thanks to the one comment from the um from the pre from the uh, from the first I gently opened the door video. Um, yeah. Who are you? I'm the master of football strategy. <laughs> they even got your name out of the uh, out of the name tag name tag thing there. Arbiter of all things pigskin. John Madden. Oh, John Madden! Okay, so that's his name. Okay, now I remember. I see you have found my realm. Are you... Are you Glob? <laughs> so, child, in the name of the Hall of Fame, would you like to join me in my never-ending battle for all things football? Follow my teachings and you shall become a football man. I'm honestly more of a soccer guy. What? Okay, getting closer. Oh no, what's going on? What? Oh, why are my eyes are still, um, redding out or something? Huh? What just? Uh, must have been a dream. Uh, for some reason I want to play some Madden 08. Vince Young is calling to me. Anyway. Okay then. <clears throat> no, it's too low. I'm done at this point seeing this one, but okay. We need to go higher. What? I gently leave the house. No, higher. Sayori, stop. Higher. Sayori Jeebus Frick. I want to go hire various artists. I gently go to the moon and I think this might be uh okay. Well, I guess now we're into space. Going closer. Higher. I gently open the door. There's another door. Huh. I gently open the door again. And another door. Okay. I gently open the door once more. More doors? How many doors are there? What, are we in a, uh, a constant loop here? I gently open the door another time. Phew! A hallway. It's dark, but that should be okay. I walk forward into the dark abyss. Okay, and there should be... Another door? Uh, I opened the door, not very gently this time. Oh my glob, it's another door. Brick this. I try to kick the door down. Brick! I break my leg. Ouchie, that hurty, my stumpy wumpy. I crawl to the doorknob and open it. Okay. What the? Oh. Are we in the, um, the void of the universe or something? And we have Ropokun. What the? You know what you must do. Oh, hello, Sayori. Well, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, yes. I crawl up to the news. 
rope, barely standing on my new two feet. Looking through it, I see my future reflected within the rope. I know what I must do. I take the news and stare at it longly. I'm sorry, Ropukun. I get it closer to my head. Clearing my throat, time to make my move. What? Am I- am I committing Sudoku? No. No. I make it with a- <laughs> Okay. Um. Making out with a news. I'll take it over, uh, over committing Sudoku, honestly. I chant- wait, what? What's that say? I gently open the door. I... What? I open gently the door. Door gently the open eye. I br- What? <laughs> What? What is with the typo or something? I, <laughs> I break the nut it no terrace. Finn? Come away. Hurry. <laughs> she opens the gently door. I did it. Nidoff. Are you okay? I nod my head. Do you not me to kill myself? Kill myself? I'll decay that as a say. Huh? What? No. I burkar wooden Tony Trias. <laughs> okay, that might have sound I've I'm saying some messed up or well. Uh, jumbled Latin or something. <laughs> Hi. Hey, ya. Uh, I can't think of anything funny to say. Yeah, me neither. Uh, uh, being funny is hard. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah, that should be funny. Yeah, funny joke about Kami about Sudoku. No, it's not funny at all. Stop it. Uh, eh, it was funnier the first time around. Unsurprisingly, Sayori is, well, just hanging around. Oh, it's you two. Ah, Detective or, well, I, I guess, yeah, Detective Natsuki and Yuri is on the case once again. Sup? Nothing much, just watching my hang- my friend hang, I guess. Wow, I'm very desynthesized to what was once a life-changing event. So, what brings you here? We're here to revert this world to its original state. Oh, cool? Very cool. I'll take your word for it. Now, Finn, all you need to do is stare at the- Hey, Yuri, you have the pen, right? Yes, one moment, please. She reaches down her hands. Uh, the pen is. <laughs> Why? Why? Now you're getting. Oh no, no, the memories are starting flooding back. No, there better, there better not be a Yuri and Chill mod after this. Uh, Yuri, this wasn't part of the plan. S sorry I close my eyes, no longer wanting to bask in the sight. Yes, close your eyes. I do not want to see that. It's just that every break between scenes made me feel a little understimulated. They really toned down the uh the tier fifteen jokes this time around. Well, hurry up. We have to make him forget everything he saw here and for the world to turn back to normal. No, don't worry. I'm already burning every memory I can. Yep. Great. In that case, just keep your eyes closed for about two minutes and we should have everything back to normal. Oh, they're erasing my memory and feel like I have amnesia for this? Okay. That should be about two minutes, yeah? I open my eyes. What was I doing? Right, eggs and bacon. 
Sayori was having an off day, so I decided to make her breakfast. The sun is starting to set. By now, the festival is probably long over. Maybe I should get the club members to come over here if Sayori's interested. But more importantly, I have to deliver Sayori her breakfast. Turning off the stove, I shoveled the mostly black eggs in room temperature bacon off of their respective pans and onto a plate, which I haul upstairs. I gently open the door. My breakfast. Took you long enough. I make you breakfast and this is the repayment I get? <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Finn. Now hand it over. I hand over the plate. Why are you looking at me like that again, Sayori? You're creeping me out. What? She shovels a mouthful of food into her mouth. Well, I guess if she's like that, I guess I should bring her some more food, I suppose. It's delicious. It was crap, wasn't it? Yeah, but I still like it. Because you're... stupid? Because you made it for me. I giggle. Thanks, Sayori. So, next time, will you make me dinner? There won't be a next time. What? I shot her to death? No! Why? Ha. Ah, finally, peace. A mod by the various artists. Ah, oh, fit, crim, synestic, okay. <laughs> Art, fit. Well, fit, or anyone from VA watching this, you really outdid yourselves again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing. Okay. <laughs> what? I'm still alive, you dingus. Dang it! Eat a bag of. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, the tradition. Okay. Okay. We're off to a good start here on this uh, on this Christmas series journey thing, and that's the first day done. And uh, oh boy, well, VA, you really outdid yourselves. But we're not done here. We still have 11 days left to go, and uh, cannot wait to see what the next one will be in store for us. So if you want to play this mod for yourself, link in the description below. So with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Diamond Knight signing off and uh, see you guys on the second day. On the first day of Christmas, VA said to us,